Welcome to CAD Tutorials, and in this video, I'll be covering practice problem 11.9. We are asked to find the power factor of the load as well as the parent power for a load of this value if this value of voltage is applied across the, no the load, that is. So we know that the power factor is equal to the cosine of the angle of voltage subtract the angle of current, right? But this same angle, or this same argument over here, is the same as the angle which you may find from the polar form of the impedance. So the impedance in polar form can be said to be this. Just transform it into polar form using your calculator. So this is 33.69 degrees. So we're going to take this value and substitute it in there to just simply find our power factor. And you should get a power factor of 0 0.832. And this power factor is lagging. You see it's lagging. And a quick way to see that is because this angle is positive, which means when we compute this subtraction over here, this one is actually greater than that. So you see that the current is lagging because it has a smaller value for the angle, and that is why this angle is actually positive. So now we'll move on to the second part of the question, which is asking for the apparent power, which can be computed for from VRMS multiplied by IRMS. Now here we have this value, and we can transform it into this in polar form. But it's not an RMS value. To get an RMS value, you actually take this magnitude. So this is VRMS. You take the magnitude and divide it by square root of 2. So that is VRMS. You also need IRMS to finally compute the apparent power. So we are going to use the formula V is equals to ZI. And to find our I, we're going to say I is equals to V divided by Z. So we're actually going to divide 160 with an angle of 10 degrees. So we're going to use the raw value without computing the RMS first. So now we have this raw value divided by the impedance, the impedance which you have to be summing that, 72.11, with an angle of 33.69 degrees. From here, we're going to give a, get an I of 2.2188 with an angle of negative 23.69 degrees. Now, we come back to the formula for our parent power, and we want to find the VRMS and IRMS. So we do that by taking the magnitudes, finding the square root of 2, divided by the square root of 2, and we take the magnitude of this as well, divide by the square root of 2, to simplify this, you can see that square root of 2 multiplied by square root of 2 is actually 2. So we can just take out half, which is also the same as half, 160 times 2.2188, should give you an apparent power of value 177.5 volt amperes. Now the answer in the textbook also has an angle or a phase associated with it. And that angle is usually associated with our complex power, which is explored also in the textbook. And that same angle, as you can see, it's the same angle as the angle which is associated with your impedance. So the angle of your power factor, the angle of your impedance, as well as the angle of your complex power are the same. If you like this video, just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, just do that quickly.